With Fushun's banner rapidly approaching, there is a lot of things that we need to look at when it comes to the lineup, which this video won't be a big bulk about the characters on the banner, with it being Fushun, Lynx, Pella, and Hook. We've already made a video about that, but I will go back into them very, very quickly. But for the most part, we're going to be looking at the factors that are going to be externally affecting this banner, whether it become other characters that are coming out in the near future, or also this big announcement that ended up being made for Honkai Star Rail that, in all honesty, is going to impact this game in a very big way. And it's is also going to be very important to a lot of players whether you start from day one or you even start it now that you're going to have to pay attention to so make sure to stay to the end of this video to actually figure what that is but right now let's go ahead and look at the banner very quickly just so that i can start talking about the external factors that are actually going to be affecting this banner's value now looking at fushuin we already know how cracked she is we already know how amazing she looks by book because we don't know how she looks officially we don't know her scalings or anything like that but what she shows and what is promised to us looks already very good she is a very big and cracked out character in her kit because she tramples over a lot of different classes and she does a lot of different things in her kit not only is she a redirection and damage mitigation unit being able to be a very good tank for your team but she also can provide buffs like crit rate and also max hp not only that she has an offensive ult and also not only that her offensive ult heals and she can resist debuffs there is a crap ton of stuff in her kit and a very good amount of stuff in her kit that shows that she's going to be a very respectable unit no matter what happens because i just think that even if this stuff that she gets is very small is very minuscule it still is going to add up with all the effects that she has she still is a tank at the end of the day she still turns that damage into wasted damage because she heals herself anyway so she still has a foundational good part of her kit that no matter what happens with these traces if the heal is small if the resist debuffs isn't as crazy as we think it is it's still going to be overall good character i am very excited for this and being able to build mono quantum that i know a lot of people are excited about this is going to be a very big thing also with Lynx, we already know that she is pretty much the MVP in this banner. A lot of people are looking forward to Lynx more than Fushuin by a long mile because we already know that she has a lot in her kit and very interesting parts of her kit. We know that she's going to be giving taunt to destruction and preservation, but it's going to open up a big amount of teams in the future, which I am very excited for. Not only that, she has a panic button on her heal, and she also has AoE cleanse, which I think is by far one of the most goaded things a healer can do. But... Looking at the four stars that are accompanying them, Pella, Hook, Hook is there. Pella is a very good character, especially for a character that's going to be coming out in the future, which is actually going to be coming into my next point, which is Jing Liu and Topaz. Now we have to remember that if you don't have a preservation character, if you don't have an abundance character, if you don't have a sustained character, Fushui might be a very good pickup because she's going to be very strong fundamentally and she has a lot of different aspects of her kit that can be very strong for a bunch of DPSs like Jing Yuan with being able to raise debuffs and be able to get more crit rate. There's a lot of things that can come from this for a lot of DPSs and is a very good thing for team building overall. Now if you do have Bailu, you do have Japard, you do have Locha, you might be able to skip on Fushuan in all honesty. But looking at the current characters that are going to be coming out very very soon and we should get a stream regarding Jing Liu and Topaz very soon. So if you want to make the very smart decision of waiting to summon on Fu Xuan, go ahead and wait and wait till the stream comes out. You might see something that you like from the next patch, whether it be Jing Liu or Topaz, and that might be a very good thing. We do know that they're going to be DPS characters for the most part, just because they are destruction and they are hunt. And more likely than not, these characters end up doing more damage than they do try to sustain or anything like that. So if you don't have really good DPSs, you might look forward to that. If you don't have really good sustains, you might look forward to Fushuin and Lynx. There's a lot of really good pathways you can take from this. But one of the main things that we need to talk about is going to be the PlayStation release date for the Honkai Star Wars release. This is a very big thing for the community, not only because it's going to be a big bump in player base that we're going to have when it comes to that game coming to the PlayStation. That's a very big population that is finally going to be able to access this game if they didn't want to play it on PC or they don't want to try it on their phone. They're going to be, have the chance to be able to run it on PlayStation and it's just going to be an overall amazing thing. But with that being said, with Jing Liu and Topaz coming out, they're going to be the brand new characters, correct? Those characters, more likely than not, are going to use low fu materials, to be honest. And not only that, the weekly boss that's going to be their talent levels is most likely probably going to be as well Fantilia, which is going to be one of the last bosses they encounter in the story. They're going to need a character to carry them through the beginning. You know what that means? We might possibly see reruns come very, very soon in the future because with reruns, that means we're going to see Cell, <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think that we're going to get reruns this quick. And this is not official, nor is it rumored or anything like that. I just think it's a very smart business plan to be able to do when it comes to having the PlayStation population come in. They're going to see Jing Liu. 
they're gonna see topaz they're gonna see that these characters might not be able to be leveled up because they're gonna have to get to the farther parts of the low fu to actually be able to level up these characters characters like sele characters like jing yuan who's gonna get materials from the earlier portions of the low fu and sele who gets the very early portion of the story these are gonna be the characters that can basically push them to the next level or make it a lot easier for them to grind be very comfortable there's a lot of really good things that come from having sele rerun very soon so with reruns coming out very soon with fushuan here with jing Liu and topaz coming out we could possibly see sele coming out this means that this opens up the option of luocha silver wolf jing yuan kafka blade these characters could possibly come out very soon and it makes sense that they would if playstation gets their release they're gonna have to get these characters at some point and with these characters coming out is going to allow them to basically get the same amount of progression or the same amount of characters that we've gotten with having the reruns possibly be either two reruns at the same time which i don't think is going to be that fast i don't think they're going to push it that hard i think they're probably going to do sele on one patch jingyu on one patch Silver Wolf on another, Watch on another. I think they're gonna do that instead to not go crazy with double banners so early into the game. And not only that, it allows for veterans, day one players, week one players, month one players to be able to pull for the characters that they really like that they ended up missing because we all know that Stellar Jade, although it does seem like we get a good amount of tickets and all that type of stuff from login bonuses, from all the missions, from story, we all know that there are sometimes a character we really want is out. We don't end up getting them, we lose 50-50, and we basically just can't get anything from that. So, looking at this, it's just a very good thing that we're seeing reruns possibly come out very soon with the PlayStation release, helping them out, helping us out for the characters we miss. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to Sele because of how strong she is. And not only that, if you do end up pulling for Fushwin, being able to pull for Sele means that Mono Quantum is an available option to you. You won't have to use Ching Tui. And having Silver Wolf come out, or maybe even other characters that are going to be Quantum as Forest Stars, there's a lot of possibilities that could possibly come out. I'm not saying that you shouldn't summon anymore because of a character that might rerun, because that is not official, it is not rumored, it is not anything. It's just what I think would be the smart plan for Hoyoverse to do to be able to give all the upcoming players and all the new players all the units that we've already had, all the banners we've already had, and it also lets for veterans to be able to pull for the characters that they ended up missing. So a lot of these characters might possibly come out. We have Jing Liu Topaz coming out. There's a lot of external factors that are possibly going to make it to the where, I guess you could say Fushwin's banner won't be as valuable. Now I do say, if you are gonna be summoning on this banner or you're thinking of summoning on this banner, if you don't want Fushwin for sure, I do say try to throw in one to two multis for links. She is going to be an absolutely amazing character, an absolutely amazing sustained character for a lot of the teams and a lot of the accounts in the game. I think she provides a lot of different aspects to her kit. That's going to make it even better, I guess you could say, with being able to be comfortable in MOC, with being able to build more teams with Blade, Clara, and possibly other characters in the future with that preservation and destruction taunt. There's a lot of things going on. I know it's very overwhelming right now in all honesty with all the things that could possibly happen with it being Jing Liu and Topaz being crazy, with it being Sele possibly getting a rerun, with Fu Xuan and Ling's being the ultimate sustain banner. I honestly understand there's just a lot of stuff going on but other than that that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted this video to be an alert or a reminder of the things that could possibly happen or things that could happen in the future or that is coming in the future tell people prepare because i know this game allows us to prepare a little bit earlier than usual because they give us the characters that we could possibly summon on like two patches before they actually come out we get the stream while the second character is already out there's a lot of alerts and also reminders but i know some people don't look that far into the future they don't see what could possibly come and i just wanted to give y'all slight reminders slight alerts just so that you're prepared so that if a character like Sela comes out and you really wanted them you don't want fushuin you don't want jingliu you want topaz you really want it sell it well there's your option there's your chance but other than that thank you guys so much for watching i'll wait to the end of the video see you on the next one and peace